السلام عليكم ورحمة الله أسعد الله أوقاتكم بكل خير زملائي زميلاتي بداية أتوجه بخالص الشكر لزميلي الدكتور مازن دوماني على هالدعوة الغالية لحتى أكون معكم اليوم مشارك من دمشق بأول مؤتمر أونلاين نرجو من الله أن تكون الفائدة موجهة لجميع الزملاء والطلاب بالشكل المطلوب. My lecture today will be about principles of dental implantation biomechanics. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقل رب زدني علما. Uh, about the inter introduction, what is a biomechanic of dental implantation? Two parts uh, of our uh, lecture, bio and mechanics. Mechanics uh, means uh, that the static science uh, which connected with the biology uh, in implantation, in dental implantation. And now uh, we will search about the relationship between the biology and the static science. I will start by biology, uh, a comparison between a natural tooth and dental implant. Everybody know that there is no perioimplant ligament like the natural tooth. We have a periodontal ligament and there is a difference uh, between uh, the fibers uh, which connected uh, the gum with the tooth and the uh, bone with the tooth. Here we can see fibers holding tooth to the bone and fibers holding the gum to the tooth. But here in a dental implant the connected relationship is uh, osteo uh, integration and uh, there is no crown. We have uh, apartment, apartment uh, metal apartment or zirconia apartment uh, which able to receive uh, a zirconia or ceramic crown. Our colise uh, prostodontics uh, work about biomechanics as a science uh, which including the occlusion forces but I think the uh, biomechanic science by dental implantation biomechanic science working about these main points implant positioning where you insert your implant interior posterior and in upper jaw and in lower jaw or the second one, implant and threads design. Uh, maybe uh, this title belongs to Comerical, uh, speaking of uh, uh, implants companies, but I think threads design uh, now uh, updates. We have many searches uh, work about uh, this point, how we can design the threads of implants and implant service treatment how we treated how we treated we have a different ways to treat the implant surface uh, to be uh, biological more and to inserted uh, safety uh, in human bone implant apartment connection I think this is one of the uh, uh, famous searches today uh, how we can connect the apartment with uh, uh, the implant, what the relationship between it, and uh, what's the advantage and disadvantage uh, of the screw which uh, connected the uh, implant with the apartment. And uh, here we have apartment, or uh, sorry, implant tooth uh, connection. Can we connect uh, implants? with a natural tooth or no, uh, we will uh, talk about this 
point in, uh, in my lecture. And the last one is occlusion forces. Implantation success factors uh, that divided in two ways, surgical success and prosthetic success. And uh, uh, if we collect uh, these two factors, I think there is a hidden period here, uh, that's the healing period between the surg surgical period, between the surgical uh, process and the prosthetic process, that is osseointegration, uh, period which we have uh, we, which we have uh, a connecting between uh, the jaw bone and uh, uh, the uh, implant surface yeah we know about uh, here we uh, we have uh, a define or uh, the update define of osseo integration uh, that we have it from academy of osseo integration uh, dental implants work by a process known as osseo integration which occurs when bone cells attach themselves directly and biologically to titanium surface essentially locking the implant into the jaw bone okay now what about implantation biomechanics? Uh, is it uh, a one title or that connected with many factors? I think uh, it's connect uh, it, it, this implantation biomechanic uh, connects with five uh, main points. That's mechanical factors, implant design, service characteristic, and bone quality. Uh, the last one is biomaterial. Uh, uh, every one of these points have a long-term uh, searches uh, from uh, all over the world. Uh, there's centers, uh, center, uh, searches, uh, centers uh, work hard to improve and evolve every one of these uh, points. The first one now we will uh, talk about it that's biocompatibility of implant material. Uh, what's the uh, main factors uh, that we needed to be in the uh, implant material manufacturing manufacturing material here? Uh, we can uh, uh, take it as the first one. Uh, chemically, it must be inert and uh, is corrosion uh, resistant, negative to um, magnetization, rust proof, not toxic and pure, anti stress and anti strain. What the difference between stress and strain? Stre anti stress means uh, uh, able to uh, resist the forces, but Anti-strain, it means a resistance uh, for the, uh, to uh, deformity. If we have uh, more deformity after uh, occlusion forces on the implant, uh, it means uh, it is not anti-strain. Uh, implant surface uh, treated by four techniques. Uh, that means implant surface treated by four generations. Uh, the first one is uh, hydroxyabatite. Hydroxyabatite uh, can throw it on, on uh, the uh, implant surface. The second one is TPS, means thrown plasma splash. Third one, etching by acids and uh, sanding. Now, uh, as uh, for uh, our new generation of uh, implants surface, that technique called SLA, sandblasted large grit acids. It's uh, collecting between etching technique and sanding technique to uh, uh, make our implants have uh, 
a new and very important advantage it's uh, SLA activity for blood attracting it means our implants from we uh, if we insert the implant in the uh, uh, bone uh, it will attract the blood from the socket to uh, uh, make more speed of uh, the period of osseo integration. The major function of implant design that transporting the occlusal uh, forces safety to adjacent biotissue, allowing the strength on the implant depends on two factors the properties of the forces and the area of the functional service. Here, I will uh, give you an idea uh, about implant types and uh, the evolution of the implant type. The first uh, type um, uh, in, uh, uh, in improving uh, the implant generation is uh, smooth type of the implant. A smooth type, no threads and no holes, uh, it's, may, might be soft, uh, that's uh, old implant, this old implant. The second generation will be the basket implants, uh, the basket implant without uh, threads. This is type uh, basket A, uh, ha it has uh, uh, holes, uh, in the implant body uh, can give a chance for the uh, bone to make uh, a bone, bri or bone bridge uh, that go across the implant uh, body to make a retention and stability uh, more. But uh, in the uh, second generation of the basket implants, uh, uh, science uh, here um, uh, give the implant chance to have uh, grooves uh, that's called as uh, threads with uh, holes in the implant body uh, to make um, uh, osseo integration more hard. But in, now in new generation uh, our implants uh, must have uh, threads uh, in the implant body and grooves to condensate the bone uh, to the apex of the uh, implant uh, and has uh, an advantage that's self tapping from uh, the uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, most important properties of the new generation of implants that self tapping to insert it uh, strong, uh, to be strong and uh, have high uh, stability and high retention in the uh, jaw bone. Implant types, uh, there's uh, threads, micro, macro, micro uh, threads that's in the uh, neck area and uh, in the body, we have uh, a macro threads. Uh, I will talk more, uh, I will give you more details about uh, the threads uh, in the neck and in the body uh, in the uh, next slides. But uh, here, uh, the companies uh, which work with manufacturing the dental implants uh, work with searches that uh, the micro threads in the neck area uh, will reduce uh, the shear forces here uh, to avoid uh, implant fracture and to uh, avoid uh, the micro leakage here in the cervical area. Short implant technique, uh, 
every surgeon who work with the uh, Python uh, system uh, know uh, the studies about uh, uh, the importance of diameter or uh, the length of the implants. Uh, which one is more important? Is it diameter of the implant or the length of uh, the implant? Uh, every researcher now, researchers now uh, give us uh, an idea that the diameter is more important uh, because uh, if you have a wide implant, you have more uh, service or wide service of uh, osteointegration and uh, it will be able to uh, resist the shear forces more and more. And for the functional, uh, functional forces, uh, uh, it will be go away uh, if uh, the diameter uh, go more and more wider. Uh, but don't forget that uh, in the uh, drilling uh, speed, uh, normally uh, it will be betwe between uh, 800 to uh, 1000 uh, circle in the minute. But if you insert a short implant, in a short implant technique, uh, you will not go more than 200 uh, circle in the minute. Here, this slide uh, talks about types of implant threads. We have three types of implant threads, and uh, this that's. Uh, that are square thread, V-shaped thread, and uh, patris uh, shape, patris threads. Uh, finally, uh, we can uh, find that patris is uh, the first one. Uh, why? Because uh, the designing of implant threads should be supporting uh, more the contact area between the implant and the bone, greater uh, pressing contact with the bone, uh, contribution uh, to uh, disable the efforts and ensure the primary uh, stability. Patris thread shape, asymmetrical faces is very effective in transferring forces in the direction of the implant axis and help uh, the condensate bony blood mix apically. Uh, you see here in, pi, in patris a thread that, that have two uh, faces, the upper face uh, with right angle and the lower face with optus angle, it helps to condensate the bone apically. To condensate the bone apically after uh, your drill, uh, you need to condensate the bone apically uh, to uh, fill all the spaces between the implant and uh, the jaw bone. Thread design the intersection of the threads with the main implant axis must be bent curved and not sharp, since the sharp edge is due to increase in stress and thus increases the chance of the implant failure. Implantation success depends on extent of stability or the primary, primary stability, it means the main uh, uh, the main point that we needed to success our implantation. This stability increases by increasing the outer diameter of the implant and increase the number of uh, threads. Implant apex design. A conical apex helps a deep retention in the apex bone. Use a torque applied to uh, the implant to generate compressive forces rather than generating shear forces. Where it's 
easy to intensify section of bone to apex area. Uh, don't forget that applied torque for inserting the implant uh, will be between 25 to uh, 50 Newton. Thread speech uh, as a defined of uh, thread speech uh, means distant area between the lines of threads. Thread beach defined as the distance between two tapping should be enough number of threads. Tapping greater, more increase the functional surface area. Increasing implant diameter helps to have a better resistance of functional forces as we said in the last slide. Implant neck. Uh, implant neck here, the parallel neck to the structure of the bone using the shear forces that cues the bone resolve. It's better to be neck sloping angle. Sorry, it's better to be uh, neck sloping angle of 20 degrees, which gives uh, uh, significant uh, compression forces in uh, the stability of uh, the implant and the largest width of the outer diameter of the implant threads. The base of the neck should be prevent the bacterial entry. As we know about plateform switching, uh, the uh, new generation uh, of uh, implants work about plateform switching. It's a group in the implant design uh, for soft tissue formation. It's in the neck area here uh, that maintain the biological width. Uh, it can describe as the most uh, uh, con uh, concentrated area for mechanical pressure what that that is implant neck it must be characterized wider than the outer diameter so uh, that the implant will be provided with a strong attachment with the bone usually the forces on the first thread uh, change uh, chair forces at the neck to the compressive forces. Screw implant connection must be in more stapler to reduce microbial leakage. It will be a conical connection for uh, applying more stapler to reduce microbial leakage. Now, uh, what about a Morse technique. What about the advantages of tapered Morse connection? You can see here the uh, advantages and the main one is uh, to reduce micro mobility uh, of uh, the implant uh, apartment. You know this is one of the main problem in the prosthetics, in the uh, prosthetic work, in the prosthetic uh, stage. It's the micro mobility. There is no uh, no uh, more retention or no uh, high uh, high force retention uh, between uh, the uh, implant abutment and uh, the implant body. Uh, we uh, we will connect the abutment with the implant body by a screw. It must be strong uh, more and enough to reduce the micro uh, mobility and uh, uh, this Morse technique uh, can give us this uh, advantage stability against rotational losing this diagram gives us an uh, idea about um, uh, biomechanics in implants here we have apical uh, forces 
occlusal forces, distal and mesial forces, facial and lingual forces. Force type and uh, influence and implant body design. We have three types of uh, forces compression, tensile, and shear. And this type, shear forces, uh, the uh, most dangerous one. What about the stress on the implant? Uh, it will make it will make uh, screw losing or screw uh, fracture or implant fracture pain decimentation and uh, su uh, sub uh, structure uh, failure every point of uh, these points you can see it here in my slide uh, uh, you know it's uh, a big problem and that have uh, uh, more and more searches uh, to dissolve it. Alprexon standards for safe implantation. Uh, Alprexon put a standards for uh, safe implantation that uh, are no pain, no mobility, and no radiological uh, translucency, and no more 0 0.2 millimeter bone. Uh, uh, absorption at three months and no more one millimeter absorption at the first year as you see here in uh, x-ray don't forget that a dental implant will absorb the forces and take the uh, excess stress uh, of the adjacent teeth Here, I will remember you that we have a point of rounding or axis of rounding uh, if we apply the functional forces on the dental implants. Uh, no parallelity between the implant and uh, adjacent tooth may, may uh, cause uh, more forces, more shear forces that use a, a, a fracture of implant or make biological a problem that's bone uh, resorption uh, near uh, to the implant uh, in less than one uh, year in, uh, before uh, going on one year of implantation. Uh, before one week, uh, Dr. Dumani uh, posted uh, uh, on Facebook, uh, uh, X-ray, panoramic X-ray, uh, and he asked uh, the surgeons about uh, the cues of the implant uh, fracture, uh, fracture. Okay, uh, there are four uh, reasons for that: implantation design and manufacturing defects. Uh, we have three points under that. Biomaterial, size, and design. The second one, non-passive fit of the uh, prosthetic framework. Uh, under that, we have three points. Apartment screw design, apartment or screw losing, bone loss uh, versus apartment screw fixation. The third one, physiologic, or biomechanic overload, implant location or parafunctional habits uh, and prosthetic design. The last one, the three others uh, cues of uh, implant fracture, uh, localization of the implant, uh, galvanic activity, and uh, the placement or manipulation of the implant. Garmesh gave us basics uh, of implant uh, prosthetic. That the first one, canine implanted, canine implanted zoom and first molars lead of lateral movements. And no cantilever prost uh, prosthetic, no more than two 
uh, dummies between two implants and intraoral occlusal forces divided into three sections. First one, central and lateral. It's one, the first section. Second one is canines and premolar. The last one, molars. Uh, this photo taken from uh, Karl Mesh, uh, it's uh, a comparing between a correct and incorrect uh, positioning of uh, crowns uh, after uh, the proceeds on the uh, implants. Here you can see the difference between uh, two uh, photos here. Uh, our apartment uh, extending on uh, external hex and here extending on uh, internal hex. The difference is uh, here we have no more forces, we have no more shared forces uh, on the implant because uh, the cervical area from the implant is protected, but here is no. And uh, there's more shear forces can make uh, a bone uh, resolve or make uh, a fracture with, uh, in the uh, screws. Or maybe uh, if that uh, high forces, uh, maybe accused uh, implant fracture. Implant tooth connecting, there's golden rules for that. One, better to not connect between implants and natural tooth. Two, requires an intact periodontal tissues around natural teeth that connected with implant and no more than one dummy between it require good prognosis up to 10 years, priority for fixed attachment, tooth implant connect should be in one section, and connecting with multi-rotted teeth is better. Teeth, implant teeth, will give us a failure. It means if you connect teeth with uh, a middle implant and teeth here you uh, can find uh, a failure but if you connect implant teeth implant it will be success here it's a photo taken from uh, under the uh, uh, electronic microscope show us that if you connect uh, the implant with natural tooth uh, by one dummy, uh, more shear forces uh, will uh, uh, go to condensate on uh, the neck of the implant. Can you see here the red uh, color? Mean more forces uh, go away to uh, the cervical area of the implant and uh, the uh, uh, cervical third uh, of your implant. Here I will give you an example. Uh, my, uh, uh, my friend is a dentist, sent a patient uh, f uh, to me. He told me that he made, he, he made or he insert, inserted uh, four implants uh, in different sites, left and right and lower jaw. Uh, he told me that this implant uh, had a failure and uh, the second side uh, success. What about the reason here? What uh, is uh, the difference between two sides? Um, I told you uh, simply uh, here you connect two implants with two natural tooth. For that the microphysiological mobility of the natural tooth uh, uh, losing the uh, implants. But here, in the other side, because you con he uh, connected the two implants with one 
uh, natural unit, one uh, natural uh, tooth, uh, the implant uh, were succeeded. Finally, I want to remember you uh, what the importance of uh, biomechanics, implantation, dental implantation biomechanics. Uh, this slide gives you an example for that. Uh, Professor Paolo Mauro gave us a technique about uh, the connection between four implants and that uh, uh, the relationship between uh, inserted four implants but now uh, we, ins we, ins we will insert our implants in two zoom that's in lateral zoom and in uh, the second premolar zoom with angle that uh, measure uh, 45 degree you can load from 8 to 10 units on four implants only this technique called Paolo Malo technique or all on four you can load 8 to 10 uh, teeth on uh, 4 implants. Uh, finally, uh, thank you very much. Thanks for your attention. Uh, thanks for uh, Dr. Domani for uh, giving me this chance uh, to be with you. Shukran lakum jamihan wa li izgha'ikum dimash mushtaqa li ru'yakum. فأهلا وسهلا بكم